Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Generation Tech. My name is Ben. Now you may notice that I have a bit of an accent. You see, I was brought up in Great Britain, but now I live in the US. So this is no longer really a pure British accent. In fact, whenever I go back to Britain, they think I'm Australian, just like every clone trooper ever. Now I'm Waxer, he's Boyle. Nera, Nera. Oh, you made a friend, mission accomplished. Anyway, clone troopers aside, Star Wars does have many alien races and humans with a variety of different accents. So let's listen to a few. The Pantorans, an alien race we see in the Clone Wars TV series, speak with Sif Ifrican accents. Would you like me to represent Pantora in this matter? Not on your life, Senator. Why would they speak with South African accents? Well, it seems the writers wanted to insert a little symbolism and educational value into the show. The actions of Chairman Chi Cho as he tries to settle the main planet that his world, the moon Pantora, orbits are kind of similar to that of the European explorers as they settled the southern part of Africa at the expense of local tribes. Listen here, you savage. This world belongs to the moon of Pantora. And as the supreme chairman and exalted ruler of Pantora, you will not command me to leave this planet or do anything else. The chairman doesn't have that strong of a South African accent. Perhaps they were going more for the early British imperialist in Africa kind of vibe. But the younger senator, Rio Chuti, does speak with a distinctive South African accent. And it's her who ends the conflict with the local tribes on Auto Plutonia. We will leave Auto Plutonia under the watchful eyes of the Tals from this day forth and recognize your sovereignty as a free and equal people. This makes me think she represents the modern people of South Africa who turned their backs on the old ways and ended the apartheid in the early 90s. Interestingly, the name of the moon, Pantora, does sound kind of similar to the name of the city that hosts the executive branch of South Africa's government, Pretoria. Maybe I'm reading a lot into this, but it is kind of interesting. The Twi'leks speak with French accents. We are peacekeepers. We are Jedi from the Galactic Republic. This was actually specifically requested by George Lucas. Perhaps because Twi'leks are known for their exotic beauty. French is, after all, known as one of the most romantic sounding languages. But isn't liberty worth fighting for? Apparently when Twi'leks start speaking Galactic Basic, aka English, they find it hard to shed their accents. The only one who seems able to do it is Hera in Rebels, although even she goes back into it when she gets angry with her father. I am part of something bigger. What I want to know is, if this is what their language sounds like. They want a wonder. Oh my. They java no bother. Then how does that translate into a French accent when they speak English? Ah, uh, don't blame Bib Fortuna. Maybe he just has a speech impediment. I'm sure he still enjoys a good baguette and bottle of red wine like the rest of them. Another alien species with a regional accent is the Lerman. They speak with Scottish accents. We came here to find peace. You must leave. You will only destroy what small amount of peace is left in the galaxy. You will only bring the destruction of us. Although they're not as enthusiastic about certain principles as the Scottish. They may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom! We're fighting for freedom. And freedom and peace require fear and death? We colonize this system to find solace from your wretched war. Ah, uh, they warm up to it eventually. While the Lermans speak with a sort of wise old man Scottish accent, this next character from The Force Awakens Inform the First Order that Han Solo has the droid they want. Speaks with a sort of Ewan McGregor playing a heroin addict in train spotting kind of accent. And now I'm ready. All I need is one final hit to soothe the pain while the Valium takes effect. That's a great movie to watch. I like to think of it as a sort of alternative timeline story for Obi-Wan Kenobi. You know, like what could have happened if he hadn't taken being forced into exile so well. Well, now we're finally talking about humans. That brings us to the Galactic Empire. And you may have noticed that all Imperials speak with the same accent as every evil character in every other American movie. I won't waste your time or Catherine's time bargaining for petty privileges. I said... Never learn, do you? Well, except for the ones that are Russian. Anyway, 
Imperials speak with a British accent. Charming to the last. You don't know how hard I found it signing the order to terminate your life. But what type of British accent, you might ask? Starting to get posh now, we're coming into the home counties, yes. The counties around London where people speak proper English, the Queen's English, a received pronunciation. Yes, people speak properly here. That's right, it's received pronunciation, or RP, in which all the words are pronounced very clearly, sometimes with a slightly rolled R. See, Lord Vader, she can be reasonable. Continue with the operation. You may fire when ready. You could also say it's like the Queen's English, which fits nicely with the Imperial vibe. The British Empire was the biggest empire the world had ever seen, and the Galactic Empire, of course, ruled most of the galaxy. So there's a definite parallel there. And who stands up to the British better than anyone else? Who resisted taxation without representation? Who threw the tea out into the harbour? That's right, the Americans. I'm Luke Skywalker, I'm here to rescue you. And so naturally we have a good old blue-eyed American farm boy showing the British, the French, the Scottish, whoever this is, who's boss. Luke's accent, although reasonably neutral, could be described as West Coast. Actor Mark Hamill was born in Oakland, California. Oh, and last but not least, Chewie has the accent of a dash hound. <laughs> okay guys, what's your favorite accent in Star Wars? Leave your comments below. If you're new, please subscribe, give this video a like, and if you're watching this, you are Generation Tech.